Hi, I'm Stephanie Cutter, Deputy Campaign Manager at Obama for America. We have a new challenge for you. And no, it doesn't involve explaining how Mitt Romney became a fan of Snooki. The Romney campaign says it won't be, quote, dictated by fact checkers. In other words, they won't be driven by facts. But the thing is, whether the truth matters in this election is not up to the Romney campaign. It's up to you. So here we go. Romney is out with a new ad about manufacturing and trade with China. It lies about the president's record. and doesn't tell you the truth about Romney's either. First, Romney's ad blames President Obama for manufacturing job losses. Of course, it fails to mention that those losses happened in the first months the president was in office, before his policies took effect. And we were in the depth of a deep, deep recession. Here's the full story. In the last two and a half years, we've added more than a half million manufacturing jobs. Now that's a big deal. They're actually the first manufacturing job gains since the 1990s. Let's compare that to Romney's plan. He wants to eliminate taxes on profits American companies make overseas. One study said that that could add 800,000 jobs, not in the United States, but in China, Mexico, and other countries. That's because his plan encourages companies to create jobs there instead of here at home. Next, the ad says that the president hasn't challenged China over unfair trade policies. Now, this is one Romney knows isn't true. That's because he actually attacked the president for being too tough on China when they were flooding the market with tires. Seriously, when the president stepped up on behalf of American tire workers, saving more than a thousand jobs, Romney said it was, quote, bad for the nation and our workers. He also called the president a protectionist. Don't take it from me. It's on page 119 of Romney's own book, No Apology. I guess he's also not going to apologize for the investments he still holds in Chinese companies or for the American jobs he outsourced to China as the president, CEO, chairman, and sole shareholder of Bain Capital. President Obama has stood up for American workers by filing trade cases against China at twice the rate of his predecessor. Romney isn't serious about investing in American manufacturing. We know this because he actually called the president out of touch for encouraging young people to pursue those jobs. That's right, Mitt Romney called someone else out of touch. President Obama has fought for manufacturing jobs since day one. And now he set a goal of one million new manufacturing jobs by the end of his second term, opening up new jobs in the energy sector, training workers in the skills they need, doubling exports, cutting taxes for manufacturers. That's an America that makes the goods and products that the rest of the world buys. That's the truth. No wonder the Romney campaign doesn't want to be guided by the facts. That's why we need to get these facts out there. Share this video with your friends, post it to Facebook, tweet it. I'm going to ask the president to post it on Reddit now that I know what that is. So as always, thanks for everything that you do.